a really big shoe, sorry, for tomorrow <laughs> night as she kicks off a drive to collect as many shoes as she can. And she'll be displaying her special brand of shoe art in the gallery space, the old federal courthouse in Fort Myers. She'll also be trying to collect as many donated shoes as she can, but the donated shoes are not for her or for her art, but one foot in front of the other for tonight's quick snap. Dan Clark has lots of shoes, but they're not for her. They're for people who can't afford a new pair. Jan is having a party at the old federal courthouse in Fort Myers to kick off her shoe drive, an idea which came to her after volunteering with various charities during the holidays. I kept hearing this resounding need for tea, so when I heard it about the fourth time, I thought, well, this is just too easy. And Jan's the perfect person to start such a drive. A floral designer by trade, she also makes art out of shoes and now is determined to use her footwear experience to get shoes to everyone around here who needs them. It seems really um, almost tragic that in 2007 there are people in my own hometown of Fort Myers that don't have shoes. Before the shoe drive has even officially started, Jan says she's received an overwhelming response from local groups and individuals. I have one retired lady who's my number one foot soldier. She and her friend have already collected one lady, 300 pair of shoes. The cost for the kickoff party is five bucks and a pair of shoes. The event will feature food, fun, festivities, and of course, footwear. A lot of different shoes there. The gallery will be displaying Jan's art shoes through the 22nd. For more information about tomorrow's opening party, or how you can give or receive shoes, check out our website, wingtv.com. Okay. Really big shoes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put them, them. Right. So thank you all. Let's take it with Lois and see what's coming up at